What's up, Cincy fans? It's Patricia, and today I'm bringing to you my Harvest Collection Haul. This is my haul plus a few local customers. So I have my uh, face cutter, and I just got off of work, so excuse my appearance. All right. <laughs> so, I mean, we did a little bit of damage. It's not too bad. And I have one warmer for me. Let me tell you a little story. <laughs> I have some of my warmers stored downstairs. The boxes are all in these cupboards. You open it up. And I had them open for something. And my husband saw the, the cupboard and he said, are those all Scentsy warmers in there? And I said, uh, well, yes, but some of them are, are actually in use. <laughs> but I felt like saying there's some upstairs in a in a in another area, in my closet. There's some in another uh, dresser. <laughs> Just one second. All right, this is what I went flying. <laughs> I bought one tester in vanilla blackberry, just in case a local customer needs to smell it, because I think I only have one bar left and you never know. All right, so let's go into the things that I received. Some of these are for customers and some of them are for me. So the things that are for customers, like warmers, I will not be opening. But for two local customers, I have the cut it out warmers. These are so, so cute. So I will put it in a little picture right here of what that looks like because I can't show you because I don't like to open other people's things. Ooh. Now another customer of mine picked up a non-harvest uh, mini warmer and this is the Chasing Fireflies. And I actually own this. It's one of my favorite warmers. It's a good little performer. And I will put a picture right here of what that looks like. It's, it gets nice and warm, so. Now I have one more warmer and this one is for me. And it's called the Everything, Everything Nice Mini Warmer. So I'll show it to you guys, but I'm not going to plug it in because it's backlit, which means it's really just gonna put a little bit of light out the back. But what I can do is set it up. I'll take a quick little picture or a quick little video and you'll see it set up in my home because I'm someone that I don't decorate a lot for holidays um, for what a couple of reasons. I like to be very minimalistic with res re regards to decorations. I don't like a lot of clutter. To me, they co it collects dust and it's just more work. But also with Drew, everything is within arm's reach for him. So you kind of have to be really <laughs> selective what you put out. But this is cute. And I thought to myself, this might replace my chasing fireflies in my side entrance because look at it. It looks like a little mug. It is so cute. So here we have our dish. So a dish like this, I would put one cube in here. You probably could put up to two. Now, the concern with putting two cubes would be if this gets bumped, is it going to be so full that the wax might spill? Potentially it could. So one cube is fine for me. Now there is a base here with a bulb, a washer, and the unit. So one thing about Scentsy warmers that I love is if you're, I'll just show you. If your outlets are incorrectly positioned in the wall, there is a little button right here that you press and you can twist and orient it so it'll work for you. And the washer goes right here and that just helps give it a little bit extra security and then there's always a bulb included. So one thing I will say is I recently did a, chop and chat with bricks and Denise asked me a question about warmer dishes. So I did forget to answer her question so I will answer it now. Her general question was she bought a warmer and she was looking for an additional dish to have as a backup or a replacement and it was the shining light warmer if I believe if I'm remembering correctly. Now a lot of times with I've noticed with the pandemic Sensi is a little bit behind on their stocking of warmer dishes. So that warmer dish may show up eventually but I do notice a lot of them are on back order so I think it's just one of those things with the pandemic that we're going to see a little bit of a backlog with warmer replacement dishes but eventually Sensi will catch up I hope I hope they will so anyway I will set this up don't drink out of it I will set this up later and show you maybe I'll put some pictures on Instagram if you don't follow me there it's Patricia Gates G-A-E-T-Z give me a follow this order is like the Mambo number five because I got a little, a little bit of everything. I got a little bit of warmers. I got a little bit of Scentsy Silk. I got a little bit of laundry. I got a little bit of cleaning bundle. I got a little bit of wax. 
I got a little bit of car bars. I got a little bit of scent circle. I got a little pods. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. So the laundry bundle I picked up is the Laundry Love Bundle. So it comes with this large 48 ounce tub of whiffs. These are laundry scent boosters. They don't clean your clothes. It's kind of like a scent additive. Safe for septic, so that's good. Uh, going with that is the concentrated laundry liquid. Read, read the bottle. Don't exceed the pumps. If you put too much soap in your clothes, it won't rinse out properly. That can lead to bacteria growth, which does not smell good on anything. Now, my dryer discs are probably somewhere else. They might even be in all that packing. Anyway, I have some room sprays. I'm trying not to purchase too many room sprays because I have 5 million <laughs> and yeah, I just have a lot. But anyway, I have Spiced Ember Glow. This is one of my favorites. Now remember, if you get the room sprays, it says right on the back, shake it up. It's not gonna be an aerosol, it's a spritz. One to two, kind of go for, um, don't go for too much. The other thing is there's oils in this, so yes, it will distribute a little bit of oil, but shake it up so that you're gonna get an even amount of oil through your whole container and then you missed it. And what I like to use is for, and sometimes, especially if you're warming this wax, but you just come home and you turn on your warmers, but you just, you want your house to smell good right away. Spray a little bit of room spray and let the warmer catch up. If it's the same scent, let the warmer catch up. You can obviously use them in bathrooms, put them in your purse, you know, all that good stuff. I also picked up My Hero because I really like the scent. This is a really, really nice masculine scent. It just really speaks to me. I love this one. And of course, I call this the C&C &C scent, cashmere and corduroy. Oh, this is, this is phenomenal. Can you hear that in the background? <laughs> Someone's eating cereal. I can hear the tink, tink. That's one of my least favorite uh, noises in life. All right, I'm gonna try to ignore it. I picked up the Red Pear and Pomegranate Cleaning Bundle, which has the counter clean, which is really great on stainless steel. It's great on stubborn stains. It actually leaves a tiny bit of a barrier to make future cleaning easier. And I find for stubborn jobs, this is better than the all-purpose cleaner. So for me, people sometimes say, what's the difference? For me, all-purpose cleaner is almost like the regular employee. And then this is like the manager. You know, if you need a little extra help, you call the manager. <laughs> That's what this is. All right. And then we have the dish soap, red pear and pomegranate. And a lot of times I will use this as dish soap but a lot of times I will actually use this as hand, hand soap as well. All right, and I kind of like that scent, red pear and pomegranate. It's a very strong performer in wax, and I think we may see it come back next year. All right, if you've been watching my channel or following me on Instagram, you may know that there's a certain person in my household that loves the Scentsy soaps. There's kind of two, but one main guy. <laughs> so I picked up Appleberry, and I am gonna smell this. So the scent notes on this say crimson apple, pomegranate, and cranberry. So let me open it up. The problem when you open it is I, I always do a terrible job. See? So it's like a nice gentle pink. Hmm, this is nice. It kind of reminds me of blizzardberry a little bit, which I like. So I think I'm going to like this. I tend to use them infrequently, but I do enjoy the smell at the bathroom after certain people have had baths. So I'll, I will get that one going. Right now we have Best Berry going and I'm gonna tell you that's not one that I like very much. All right, let me just bring out the box of wax and other items. So I'm missing, let me get rid of that so it doesn't look so ugly. Here we go. <laughs> All right. I had a hair, my hair in a ponytail all day, so who knows what it looks like. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, more packing. Okay, here, here are, just one second. <laughs> this is like the most amount of packing I've ever seen in my life. The Cloudberry Dream Dryer Discs. Now, I, I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm taking one for the team because I'm not sure if I'm going to like this in laundry, but I like to try every laundry scent and report back to you. So I will try them. Right now I just opened aloe water and cucumber, so I'm gonna work my way through that. Then I will use this and I will report back. All right, now for one of my coworkers, I have a mystery man scent circle. 
And this is a really nice pristine bag, so I would probably put that aside and try to utilize that. For me, I picked up a fragrance flower and this one is in the Darling Dahlia Vanilla Bean Buttercream. So I thought to myself, I'm gonna put this on the, my end table right next to my bed and I'm gonna smell vanilla bean buttercream as I'm falling asleep. So I will just show you, it comes with a ring. It comes with the insert here, which has the oil. So you're gonna take off the black, you take off the plastic and the black ring and you're gonna replace this as a decorative ring, okay? The important thing, is to grab the flower. You can see in here, there's a, a little rope, okay? So let's take it out and so you can see. So it comes in a little box, but then you see the magical rope. Now, I want you to see if you can see right around here. Let me see if I can show you. Can you see that? There's a little piece of tape. See, take that off. Then you're fragrance flower is going to soak up the oil perfectly and here's your beautiful flower doesn't have a smell yet but trust me it's going to smell what when you put it in it's going to soak up probably a third to a half of the oil in the first two three days do not panic then it goes very very slowly because these are totally dry so they will soak it up when they get um you know saturated with the oil they will just slowly drop the oil so that is a fragrance flower used, best used in small spaces or spaces that don't have an outlet, so you can't use a warmer. But I'm gonna put it right next to my bed just to get gentle whiffs of vanilla bean buttercream. All right, we have the Harvest Oil 3-pack. Oh my gosh, I have such a mess going on here, guys. All right, I don't wanna lose this, so I'm gonna put it back with my fragrance flower over here. All right, now the great thing about when you buy an Oil 3-pack is they actually tell you the notes, and sometimes I forget this, <laughs> but they actually tell you the notes. So we're gonna go through. So the first one is Caramel Apple Crumble. So that one is right here. So these are used in the diffuser. So we have two um, deluxe diffusers and a bunch of premium diffusers. You could usually start with, if you're using the maximum amount of water, I hear like chirping. Okay, it stopped. If you're using the maximum amount of water, it's doing it again. I wonder if there's like a cricket. Anyway, let's put back on track. I would use about five to six drops in my premium per 120 mils. And then in my big bad boy, the deluxe, which I usually don't fill all the way. I usually put about 250 mils of water and then I usually put about 15 drops. But but it actually takes, I think, uh, 440 mils. I'm, I'm, I can't remember if it's 440, but it's, it's almost two cups. Anyway, caramel apple apple crumble. Delicious apple topped with cinnamon crumble and a drizzle of caramel. Can you hear the chirping? Yeah, this smells a little bit buttery, so it must be the caramel. Not very obvious like, in terms of any of those notes, it's very creamy and buttery. I can hear the chirping. <laughs> if you can hear chirping, let me know so I'm not losing my mind. Okay, the next one is Golden Pear Nectar. And since he doesn't do a lot of pear, but I do find they do sometimes do pear in oils. So this one says Golden Pear and Crisp Apple whipped with apricot nectar until sugary sweet. Mmm. Mmm. This reminds me of like a variation of jumping jelly bean, jumping jelly bean. If you like that, you'll probably like this. I like that, very sweet. The next one is pumpkin cinnamon twist. Pumpkin cinnamon twist says pumpkin perfectly spiced with cinnamon and clove. Yes, this smells a lot like the base of scary good. You know what? If you took the apple caramel crumble and mixed it with, or put some drops of each with the pumpkin cinnamon twist together, you might get a good replication of scary good. Not exact, but it'd be pretty darn close. 
So you can actually pair, have a scent going in your diffuser and a complimentary scent going in warmers. Sometimes that's nice. All right, we have some carbers. I mean, we should have six. One, yes, we do. Okay, so for a coworker, we have cider mill. Great choice. Apple and cinnamon sticks. Very strong scent. Usually if you have a strong scent, it's gonna be strong in wax and also in other forms. Amazon Rain, very fresh and from memory, a good performer in car bar for me. It's been a long time though. I tend not to use a lot of car bars. I'm more of a either scent circle or, you know, mini fan and pod kind of girl. We have Christmas Cottage. This is a very great selling scent. It's got a lot of, um, excuse me, it's got raspberries and oranges with a lot of spice. Vanilla bean buttercream, love that one. And we have Welcome Home. And this is a good performing car bar from my memory. So that's for my coworker. All right, I have some pods. I think I should have seven. So let's do, I did buy some non-harvest collection pods, but I do have some harvest collection pods. So the first two that we're gonna cover that are not from the Harvest Collection are very snowy spruce. And I like to put these, something like this. Yes, like in the, the wall fan diffusers on either side of my Christmas tree and just have them constantly going for around, you know, 10 days or so close to Christmas time. So that's, I'm thinking ahead, I'm purchasing them now because I'll tell you, very snowy spruce will usually sell out just for a short time, but it usually sells out as people panic getting closer to Christmas. So think ahead, add it to your list now, and you'll be ready. All right. So I have one other scent, and this is one I really, really like in wax, and I assume I'm going to love it in pods. Arctic Kiss. Mmm. Yes, it smells very similar to the wax to me. It's like a sweet vanilla. What in the heck? Now I hear the, the spoons in the background of the clinking of the cereal. How long does it take to eat cereal? <laughs> Do you hear that? Anyway. All right, Arctic Kiss. It's a really nice one. It's got honeydew melon. It's not listed in the notes, but we know the breakdown of the, the notes from Sensi. It's a very interesting, clean, fresh, invigorating, minty, cool air, fluffy vanilla cloud kind of scent. All right. Now... We have the pods for the Harvest Collection. So what I'll do is I'll just show you the pods and then when I get to the wax, I'll, I'll smell both and compare. So the first one we have is, uh, the first one we'll do alphabetical order. I picked up two of these. Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. And I will go over those in wax and then smell them side by side. I picked up Orchard Apple and Spice. Just one. And just one of Toasted Acorn and Oak. So I'm gonna put those right there. So when I go get to the wax, I will be able to talk to you about it. So what I'm gonna do is I do have wax with non, you know, non harvest collection. So I'll show those first. We have Mystery Man. I think there's cedar in here or oak. I can't remember. Bergamot. It's very fresh and invigorating. It's a strong masculine cologne scent. I have two. Blueberry cheesecake, which is like the New York cheesecake, the blueberry sauce that goes with it, plus the graham cracker crust. Yes, this is a strong, strong scent, another strong scent. Oh, we got a little bit of wax spillage here. <laughs> These did not come in a Mylar pouch, obviously. I think I have one apple butter frosting. Oh no, there should be another one. Yep, two. What's better than one apple butter frosting? Two. <laughs> If you haven't tried this, do me a favor and try it. I hope you like it as much as I do. This is a really nice scent. All right. I have two vanilla bean buttercreams. That's like a very rich vanilla buttercream scent. It's got cane sugar or sugar cane. I forget how they word it. And it's got vanilla extract. Some of these are for my coworkers. So we have two. She likes two of everything. <laughs> Salted caramel toffee. So this has like the toffee and the butterscotch and the caramel all merged into one. It's a, a fairly strong scent starting off and then it dissipates, but it's a great mixer. 
very sweet. A little bit of salt to kind of take down some of that sweetness. We have two, not for me, surprisingly, two My Hero. Oh, I don't know what it is in this, but man, oh man, I love it. I will put the scent notes below. A lot of masculine scents, like I'm not crazy into most masculine scents, but you'll find one that you smell and you're like, that's the one for me. Or that's the one that, you know, I want <laughs> the significant other in my life to wear. And so when you find that, you'll be a happy camper. I have two sugar cookies. I don't remember, this must be for my coworker, but I don't remember her ordering it, but she must have. So I got two of those. Two of everything so far. All right, I think we might be getting down to the harvest. Now, let me tell you about the harvest collection. This comes in a three pack. I think I had three local customers that messaged me, two of which I remember specifically saying they did not want toasted acorn and oak. And so I said, well, you can get the three pack bundle. I will substitute out toasted acorn and oak. So I think I have two of these bundles for me and then obviously I'm gonna to have to sub out a couple of my own bars for toasted acorn and oak. So I actually have four toasted acorn and oak. And then another customer, she said she only wanted cranberry pumpkin spice. And I told her, well, it comes in a three pack. So then she picked three totally different scents. So I do have four of each scent, but some of them I, I'm actually not for me. So let's just put them in piles and sort out everything. But before we get into those, my gosh, <laughs> wax everywhere. What's this? Oh, here's an almond croissant <laughs> all by itself. Yes, very strong. I don't know if I smell like, to me it smells like more of an actual almond, not almond extract, but I fell in love with these almond croissants one time at a course I went on and I've never tasted anything as phenomenal as those. And I always, I'm looking for ones that taste as good. It was like probably a pastry chef that made them, but anyway, that's a good one. All right, so we have those. I'm just gonna get rid of this. All right, but let's do this first because I have two of these. Roll the dice. So I remember the notes are something like citrus, sage, balsam, and maybe something else. Let me look it up. I'm a little nervous about the sage and I'm a little bit nervous about the balsam. I'm not gonna lie. All right. I can hear the chirping. All right, we have the Nightmare Before Christmas Roll the Dice. And I think I've told you guys I've never seen the Nightmare Before Christmas. So I don't know all the names of the people or the, the characters. It says zesty citrus, dark fruits, sage, and balsam. I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous, but here we go. I'm not crazy about this. It's not terrible. It reminds me of something a little bit, but I can't put my finger on what. It's kind of twangy, like that citrus you can really pick up. But it's with the balsam and the, the sage, it kind of, mm, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously I got two bars here. I am up for warming anything. So I will probably put these up as a tester Tuesday voting option. So we'll put those aside. Let's talk Harvest Collection. So the first one in the Harvest Collection is Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. So I have it in the wax and I have it in the pots. So we'll see. The scent notes on this, I gotta go find the three pack bundle. You can put these individually in your Scentsy Club. So if you only want one or two or whatever, keep that in mind. So Cranberry Pumpkin Spice is sugared cranberry, adds a sweet kick to baked pumpkin, delightfully infused with cinnamon spice. I'm hoping for a certain thing and I, I, I feel like I'm not gonna get it, but yeah, I want more cranberry and that's funny for me to say because I don't know if you know this about me, but I don't love a lot of cranberry scents, but I'm actually, pumpkin is something that I've gradually like appreciated more. I like pumpkin mixed with things, but I don't really like pumpkin as much on its own. So if something's really pumpkin heavy, sometimes I'm just like, mm, it's okay. So I think I get a little bit more cranberry when I smell the bottom. It's a little spicier too, like, woo, a little spicy. Like cinnamon stick spice getting a little bit closer to the red hot. 
But you know what? I, I think I want to warm this with like a sun-kissed citrus because cranberry and citrus go nice together. I just don't know if it's going to work with the pumpkin, but I might try it anyway. So that there is the wax and I'm just going to smell the pots. Okay, so I feel like you can get a little bit a little bit more cranberry or something brighter in the in the pods. It doesn't smell as pumpkiny. So interesting. And it, these aren't very strong to my nose. All right, next one. Orchard apple and spice. Beautiful packaging. Red wax. This one says an autumn treat of ripe Orchard apple is complemented by bright cherry and a finishing touch of warm spice. So we have apple, cherry, and spice. Now, a couple of years ago, we had, was it apple, cherry, cider? Something like that. Mm, this reminds me a little bit of Crimson Berry Christmas. If you like Crimson Berry Christmas, you're probably going to like this. And this one is in here like, <laughs> oh my God. This one is like, does not want to come out. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a medley of spices. It's pretty. It like pretty, pretty well blended. I like this one. It's very sweet. I don't know if, if you didn't tell me cherry was in here. I don't know if I would know that, but it just smells like a nice apple cherry medley with some spices kind of mixed in. This reminds me of like a typical... I mean, it's in the Harvest Collection, but you could also warm this in the holiday season, no problem at all. So that is Orchard, Apple, and Spice. So let me just smell the pods of that. Yeah, the pods don't smell very strong. Very hard to smell. But they smell less spicy than the, the wax, but these are not very strong. So anyway, always remember, like sometimes you really have to click, like make sure it's clicked down all the way. Last one is toasted acorn and oak, brown wax. This one says toasted acorn and creamy chestnut roasted over golden oak bring warmth to a crisp evening. So this is gonna be a little bit different than those other two. I like this one. I was a little bit worried about the acorn, but I like it. Let me, oh, that didn't sound good. Yes, so there's a little bit of spice and warmth to this. This is really, really nice. I was a little bit worried about like acorn and oak, but everything, I don't even know if I could pick out like oak per se or acorn. I smell like a nice gentle warmth, like a creamy nuttiness, but it's blended really well. So that my nose just knows that it's a really nice, beautiful, cozy scent that you'd want to put in on a cool evening with your blanket and your little slippers. And it smells good. I kind of think that this is what I wanted vanilla bourbon to smell like. Mmm, and it's a little bit rich at the same time. That's, that's really nice. My poor customers that didn't want this <laughs> kind of did me a favor. So that is toasted acorn and oak. And I have the pots, so I will just smell those. They smell, I feel like they smell a tiny bit different, but good at the same time. Oh, I could eat this. I don't really think I smell oak, because obviously you don't want to eat oak or, or acorns unless you're a squirrel. Yum. Yum. If you haven't ordered the collection because you're scared of toasted acorn and oak, I would say get the collection. As long as you're okay with a little bit of spice from the other two scents, I think you're going to be very pleased. A little bit of everything going on. And remember, if you don't like something, you can always mix and experiment. So I think we pretty much covered everything. Stay tuned. I will insert a little video or a photo of my Everything Nice Scentsy Warmer. Thank you for spending the last few minutes with me. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.